it is summer and Art Fight is just around the corner. The way it works is you will join a team and each year the team names have a different theme and then you and your teammates participate by drawing fan art of characters for the other team of their characters and they'll do the same for you. One of my favorite things to do for Art Fight is to set new goals each year and even if it's your first year of Art Fight you can still set goals for yourself going into it and then you can adjust. Whatever goals you choose to set, it's really important to make sure that they are achievable goals, specifically within the time limit of Art Fight, because it lasts for simply one month out of the year, and you want to make it something that you can measure within that month. These goals can be anything from how many art pieces you want to complete to what sort of skills that you would like to work on and improve on, and that could be if you don't draw very many humanoid characters, you usually draw animals, you would like to draw more humans, or vice versa, or it could be something like style or line art or focusing more on color, cell shading, rendering, things like that. And of course, you could simply be joining Art Fight for that camaraderie with other artists and people who enjoy doing what it is that you enjoy doing and you want to share in that hobby with your community. Art Fight is a great place to do that. It's actually one of my favorite times to connect with other artists and that's why I keep coming back each year on top of the artistic growth and experience, of course. What are some of the goals that you have set for yourselves already or that you are considering setting for yourself this year? Leave those for me down in the comments. I would love to talk about it. Now that we've set those goals, it is time to actually get in shape for Art Fight and prepare ourselves to meet those goals. And for that, we're gonna need a bigger set of stairs than just these. That works. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. I say it, things get to be rough in the ring. Okay, no more fooling around. I gotta fight, okay? I got problems, I gotta fight. gotten those things out of the way let's talk about some of my top tips for art fight and those are going to cover three things it's going to be your time management your organization and how to stay motivated a month can be a long time and if you want to maintain your momentum over the course of that month there are a couple things that i can recommend to help you with your art fight experience and journey let's first start with the first one, and that was time management, especially in the very first couple of days of Art Fight. Remember how earlier I had mentioned bookmarking characters that you want to attack or draw? Those bookmarks are going to be really hard to access if the website is so overrun in the first couple of days, which in past years it has been. Each year, the amount of time it takes for that period to pass is getting shorter and shorter. However, it has been routinely a little bit difficult to log in on the first couple of days because of the traffic, just the sheer volume of traffic heading to the website. So the best thing that I can recommend that you do is you take a couple of your bookmarks that you have saved on the website and actually save those references to your computer or to your phone so that you can look at those later if the website is down and still get the most out of your first day or two of Art Fight without having to wait for the traffic to settle. The other thing I wanted to talk about was organization, ways you can be organized in order to help you make the most of your art fight season. And that organization can come down to your planning part. So this part here now that we're in, 
pre-art fight kickoff. This is the time to get organized and to help yourself in the future. Do your future self a favor by getting your character sheets together, getting them uploaded to your profile. This also helps with people who are bookmarking early to see your characters so that they can choose yours to draw. And I still keep my past bookmarks that I haven't actually drawn yet for future reference in case I just decide that I still want to do that character and I can go back and draw them. Another way to be organized is with those character ID numbers. It can be very frustrating if you draw an attack for a character, then you go to submit it and you can't find that character or their character ID number to submit an attack for that character. A good way to make sure that those don't get lost, particularly if the creator decides to hide them mid art fight after you already started drawing them, is to write down or keep a record somewhere, maybe in like a notepad on your computer, on your phone, or just pen and paper. Write down the creator's art fight profile name and the character ID number. This has happened to me in the past where I've drawn a character, gone to submit it, had the character ID number, and unfortunately that character was hidden and I wasn't able to submit that attack for that character. But luckily, if you still have the creator's art fight name, you can go to their page and tag that drawing to another character and then like in the private description, let them know, hey, I drew this before I realized you hid the character. If you want me to take it down for any reason, let me know, but I still wanted to make sure that you got to see it. And that can be really, really helpful. So that's a frustration. You can totally sidestep in the future if it happens to you, if you're organized to begin with. For maintaining enthusiasm, let yourself take breaks. A lot of times, especially for people who are brand new to art fight, it can be very overwhelming at first and you're gonna wanna like hit the ground running, you're pumping out 10 drawings a day and that momentum can be kind of hard to maintain for an entire month and there's no need to. Firstly, let me just say, there is no threshold that you have to maintain or there's no like minimum that you need to maintain on a daily or weekly basis. I know that we are all setting goals for ourselves and we want to reach our own goals, but always remember that this is entirely voluntary and nobody is forcing you to do this. And if it ever starts to feel that way, take a deep breath, give yourself a moment to take a step back and just reassess and, you know, kind of recalibrate. Art fight should be fun. It sh and it's a great opportunity to grow your skills and to learn and to meet other artists. But above all, it should be a fun and enjoyable experience for you. And if you want to maintain that enthusiasm from day one to the final day of art fight, a really great great thing that I have found helps me in the past is that when I start to feel the burnout, I go out. So if I'm burnt out, I go out. I get outside. I walk around the neighborhood. I might go to the beach or the park. Just something away from the stressor of being productive because even passionate productivity when you're doing something that you're passionate about it's still work and it's good work and it's something you should be rewarding yourself with but it can still be work and that can still get exhausting taking those much needed breaks will help you make it to the final day versus forcing yourself to push through it getting halfway through the month and then finding out that you're not having fun you're not enjoying yourself and you might just give up on art fight altogether and we don't want to see that we want to see you enjoy your time to be able to come back year after year after year and still have a great experience so if you are feeling the burnout go out in order for art fight to be a fair fight you still have to submit your character reference sheets to your profile if you don't have any character reference sheets that's okay because there is time to make some character reference sheets can be as simple or complex as you want to make them as long as the viewer gets a clear sense of what the character looks like their color palette and any extra accessories or things like that that are very important to their character. It also helps in the description section of your character or on the reference sheet itself to include a couple of mentions of their personality, any kind of specific traits that they have. And these hints help others know what kind of body language to include in the posing or facial expressions that would be true to the character. That said, I also have a whole other set of videos in a playlist about setting up your profile and how to create or update character sheets. So after you see this video, please check out the rest of the playlist. 
It is against the rules to draw any gift art for the other team or even friendly fires for your team before July 1st. But that doesn't mean you can't plan ahead for who you're going to draw. And that's what makes bookmarks such an important part of the preparing process, the training process, the getting in shape for art fight process. And by that, I mean, you're going to want to sort of shop what characters do you think you would want to draw, especially the week right after Art Fight House dropped its team name or team theme reveal, and people are able to start signing up for their team selection early, and you can sort of get a sense of who's going to be on the opposite team as soon as about a week before Art Fight starts. Any character you think looks interesting that you might want to draw in the future, being able to come back to them without having to start like a bookmarks folder directly to your browser. They do that for you inside the Artfight website. And I've got a couple of examples and tutorials that demonstrate exactly how to do this, which are also gonna be in my playlist that I will link at the end of this video. So do not worry, I've got you covered. Years of experience here, I've got you. <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure that you get the resources you need to be fully prepared this year for Artfight. Just to summarize what we've gone over so far in this video, we have discussed setting goals. We've talked about the importance of bookmarks and character reference sheets. We've also discussed some tips and recommendations or tricks that I suggest based on my personal experience, as well as ways to stay motivated when you are participating in the month long challenge that is Art Fight. If you have any other suggestions for me or for the other players, I invite you to leave those down in the comments. It is a community effort after all, and we win together as a team. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and hit the like button, and I will see you guys soon on Art Fight. Seriously, bye, go. I'll see you on Art Fight.